for 30 minutes. And then it's in Bris it's in Bristol Power, 20 minutes. It's bloody 59 late by Taunton for some reason. We've got to get Woody Rouse and Boyd. Let's get Thank you very much to, um, to you, the audience, and the people who come to this wonderful place. This is, a, in my mind, a sort of, a sort of a spiritual cathedral uh, for design uh, of all sorts of, of skills, mostly engineering, of course, and, 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 and delivery and places. It's, if you look carefully, you can almost sort of summarise all the many skills that go into the design trade in this wonderful place. This, I call it a spiritual cathedral. And um, so I think we all owe a great deal to, to this place. And I'm thrilled to be here. And particularly uh, flattered, more than flattered, embarrassedly uh, thrilled to be here with this train that's got my name stuck on it. Um, and um, so, so I owe a lot of thanks. Um, the the um, the biggest thing that uh, this, this train is the biggest thing I've ever done. Um, but and I enjoy. You can imagine any of you would enjoy this this sort of little scene today, where here I am and feeling great and all these people being kind. I mean that's heady stuff. Um, but the fact of the matter is that. I'm probably the least deserving of all the plaudits that have been given to this train, which has become a, a sort of symbol of modern modernisation in a way, and modern, modernising of the railways in particular. Um, but the fact is that, that I owe everything to the engineers who actually get these things into being. My part is visually important at the end of the day, um, and hence the song and dance that gets me onto this platform. But the fact is that I stand on the shoulders of all the very many absolutely unspoken uh, heroes of the, of the world of railway, who are the engineers, um, and they go back such a long, long time in, in the tradition of engineering um, that uh, you feel uh, less and less deserving, in a way, of being uh, given these plaudits and the name on the train. So I'd certainly like to say thank you to all those folks. Um, many of them uh, 
are not around today, um, but I used to go regularly to Derby, and um, uh, uh, and um, interface with the engineers. I used to wear a pink suit in those days. Uh, it was a lovely summer time, and uh, after well, a long time, in fact, only a couple of years ago, a chap came up to me at a at a party and said, "You don't know me." He said, "But." Um, you used to come to Derby. I was one of the engineers in, in the works of Derby, and uh, uh, unknown to you, the guard at the gate used to telephone us when you were coming, so we could go to the window and all take the Mickey out of you um, as you walked up the alley. And, uh, and um, I only learned that all those years later. If I'd known at the time, I might even have changed my suit, but I'd certainly been mortified. So, a lot of thanks to a lot of people, and. Um, uh, in particular, uh, and I'm sure you know, but I, I did two trains. Um, there's the predecessor to this one, um, uh, and uh, that's, there's only one of those. It's uh, also quite a handsome looking thing, I still think. Um, and it was the train that was going to be on the railways in, in, in place of this one. Um, but circumstances changed and I got two jobs to do for the price, not for the price of one, for the price of two and a half, really, because I, I was very well paid. Uh, but um, uh, to that, the fact that that train exists, the original HST, um, is down to a, a wonderful bunch of railway nutcakes, really, um, uh, who live, eat, breathe uh, railways, and in particular, they, they with, with uh, voluntary work all through, years and years, 10 years or more, and rehabilitated the original train. So that's also, also there. So I've got two trains running, um, and um, I owe a lot to that bunch of guys too. So thank you very much. And um, I think I've said enough for one day, but uh, anyway, I'm delighted to be here, and, uh, and thanks everybody. <laughs>